What's up guys, Will H back with another video. So today we're doing a follow up on the new mobile A25 smartphone. So new sent this out for a review. Again, big shout out to them for sending this over. Now I've had this about 10 or 11 days and I did my unboxing and first impression uh, about 10 or 11 days ago. Since then I've been using this with my Mint Mobile SIM card. And I just wanna come back and let you guys know what I think about this device. So. Straight off the bat, I think you this is a great value. You get a lot of features and you get a lot of things in the box with this device. Uh, performs well, haven't had any issues with this, very lightweight and uh, just a beautiful, beautiful device. So a recap on some of the features and details. This has a 6.7 inch AMOLED Full HD Plus display. The resolution is 2412 by 1080. This has a 120 hertz refresh rate as well. Has an in-stream fingerprint sensor. Also has facial recognition. This comes in two colors. It comes in the jet black and also the champagne gold, which is the color that I have. And I think this is a beautiful color. So it features the Helio G99 processor. Has six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, which is expandable up to one terabyte. So you got triple cameras on here. You got a 50 megapixel, you got a two megapixel macro, and you have a VGA Boker camera as well. Uh, you have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, and those are some of the features and details. So going around the device, you got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, you got a microphone, you got a type C charging port, and you got your speaker. Now there's only one speaker on here, but it's loud, and we'll get into that later. You got your dual SIM card slot here, uh, slash micro SD card. You also got a uh, microphone up here. And then on this side, you got your uh, power button and your volume up and down rockers right there. Very thin, as you guys see. On the back, this is the triple camera setup that we talked about earlier. Uh, your 50 megapixel, your two megapixel macro, and your VGA. You got your flash, you got a little, you know, burning right there. And this thing is all plastic, very, very lightweight. My first uh, unboxing impressions, I thought it was some type of metal, but these days they make the plastic so good that it's hard to tell if it's some type of metal or not. And it's definitely not gonna pick up any fingerprints at all. So the build quality is excellent on this to me, even though it's plastic feels very premium. So let's go back to talk about this 6.7 inch AMLEDGE Full HD display here. So it gets very bright outside, but I have no issue seeing it outside. Uh, the display is very vibrant. The colors look great. The 120 hertz refresh rate works great, as you guys see. Uh, no issues strolling about with your web pages, social media, and stuff like that. It's gonna be great for watching your movies, YouTube, Netflix, whatever you know platform you wanna watch your movies on. It's gonna be great. Uh, does also have a in-stream fingerprint sensor that works great as well. So here's your landing pad, as you guys see. Works great, just get right into it. Let's go ahead and get right in. This fingerprint sensor works great. Also has a facial recognition camera as well. So. So the display is very nice. Comes with a built uh, with a stream protector already on it. Uh, the display goes edge to edge, as you guys see. And like I said, it is very nice. You do have your earpiece up here. And for phone calls, this has been excellent. No issues with people hearing me or hearing or myself hearing them. Now, like I said earlier, you get one speaker on here, but the speaker is loud for conference calls, watching movies. You know, listen to your music. Pop. Podcasts or whatever. But if that's not the case, we also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well. That where we can plug in our favorite headphones so 
I have used this and it sounds excellent. Uh, something, this is a forgotten thing now, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And like I said, for the price, to include this is excellent. It's awesome. Also, you can use your Bluetooth, you know, earbuds and stuff like that as well. So next, let's go ahead and talk about the battery. So this has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. I've been able to get, um, I'm going to say about six, six and a half hours of strain on time. Now, that's my personal use. You know, that's always going to be subjective there. That depends on how you use your device. But uh, I'm able to get that amount on the battery. Comes with an 18 watt charger in the box. So that's good as well. And uh, so battery life is great. So next, let's go ahead and talk about performance. So the Helio G99 processor coupled with the six gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, and this is running Android 13 out the box. So for browsing the web, doing your social media, uh, playing games, this, this is gonna be great. Haven't had any issues doing any of that. I uh, loaded up some, not too intense games, but uh, you're gonna be able to play your games uh, fine. I didn't have any heat issues with this device at all. It runs very smooth. You're able to swap between different apps with ease, strolling around through here. And like I said, no crashes, heat ups, or anything like that. This, this device has performed excellent for me. So performance is definitely great on this device. Has great haptics. You're definitely gonna feel when you press something or open something up. And uh, yeah, man, so you get a lot of great value out of this device. Comes with a lot of great features. So let's talk about the cameras now, guys. So the front camera is an eight megapixel uh, shooter. You're gonna be able to take some great shots right this. You got portrait mode, which as you guys see, takes some nice portrait. Uh, just great. I'm not a big selfie guy, but the cameras, the selfie cameras are nice on this uh, portrait and just normal photos as well. Then on the back of it, you got your triple camera set up like I talked about earlier. Your 50 megapixel main shooter. You got your two megapixel uh, macro and you got your VGA camera. Now this can shoot up to 2K at 30 frames per second. And as you guys see, the video quality is not bad. Photos, uh, you have portrait mode. You can take some nice portraits. You can get some nice uh, macro shots as well. And, uh, you know, the cameras are not bad. Okay, guys, so this is the new A25 smartphone shooting uh, at 2K, 30 frames per second. Walk, Doing a little walking here, let you guys see how stable this is and how the microphone sound as well. Gonna go over and take a look at this tree bark here. Get a close up. Let you guys see how this look. And pan around. So this is a short sample from the new mobile A25. So going into the camera app, you have a lot of features here. So you got night mode, you're gonna have U UHD, you got portrait mode, and then if you go into more, you're gonna have your beauty mode, filter, GIF, film mode, pro mode, slow motion, time lapse, macro, and intelligent scanning. So you got a lot of features within this camera app that you can apply and use as well. So like I said, the cameras are not bad on this. I have enjoyed using them. So overall, I have to say that the new mobile A25 smartphone is a great value. You get a whole lot of performance out of this for $169.99. You're gonna be able to play your games. You're gonna be able to do your social media, web browsing, make great phone calls, and the device performs well with the six gigabytes of RAM and the Helio G99 processor. Run an Android 13 out of the box as well. Great haptics, doesn't heat up. Battery life is great. So great job by a new mobile putting this phone together. Now I'll drop the link in the description if you guys want to pick this up. I'm Will H. Will H. Gadgets and more. I'm out.